She just wants us to try. She, she wants us to take care of grapes. She wants us to want to do that. She wants us to want to get to know Hannah. She knows she can't make us do it. Well, I'm up for it. <laughs> you're, up, you're up for it. The mailman's up for a challenge? Mickey, you have nothing to offer. Change your life? What life? You arrogant prick! I have a life that makes me very happy. I have a girlfriend almost a year now who I love very much. I, I might spend the rest of my life with her. She doesn't know I might not be back for months, that I might have to take in my grandmother, that I'm an uncle to a misfit. But it'll be all right when I tell her because we'll work it out together. I'm like Mr. Looking for Wife Number Three. I mean, what have you worked out, Garth? What a prick. God, it is so easy for you, isn't it? What are you gonna do, Mickey? Quit another job? Hmm? You have... You have no... You've never completed anything in your life. Gwenny took care of Grey Peg for 16 years. You haven't taken care of anybody for 16 months. If you think this is getting hard now, it gets harder. How can you, how can you accuse? All right, you want to talk about taking care? Huh? All right. Well, here's one. Here's one for you. Every day I walked to school for two years down our little road for half a mile in fear that I'd get the crap beaten out of me by Jimmy Reynolds. And most days he would. He'd hit me, throw rocks at me, call me names. It didn't matter. But I hated going to school because of Jimmy Reynolds, your best fucking friend. And what did you do? Nothing. You did nothing. You're my big brother. I mean, how could you let that happen to me? I didn't know. You knew. You didn't want... You were ashamed of me. You're my big brother. So don't tell me anything about how I can't take care of Gwenny or anybody. Don't. <laughs>